this is the l once if we cut the cone what is the shape they are getting uh, say this is the radius of the cone the shape they are getting is something is like something like this same this is l because the l has to be equal in all the places let it be here or here or here in all the places l has to be equal okay l has to be equal so that is the idea so again i will remove these portions okay, for clarity so finally this is the approximate shape once if you cut actually where we have made a mistake once after cutting we made it is equal to triangle but that is wrong anyway so you will get a shape like this finally uh, this is 2 pi r because total total sir circumference of the circle base circle so, so this is the shape okay this is the shape and again uh, all the dimensions have been given l l 2 pi r okay this is of some theta okay this is of some theta okay then what is the what is the uh, area of this arc area of the area formed by this arc and sides l okay and finally you have to find out the area of the this one so once if you find out the area of this one you are getting pi r l you are getting pi r and l pi r l anyway to find out the arc area and all we have some definitions uh, anyway we will come to that once if you go in deeper about the coordinate system there uh, we have the exercise for how to find out the area for the arc and other arc and all okay then the final answer is pi r l pi r l okay yes in the idea put it put it sir nama cone vandu approximate panum bodhu arc ah varudhu triangular ah varala arc ah varudhu adhu area kandupidicha da enna varudhu pi r l varudhu adhu area kandupidicha da enna varudhu pi r l varudhu okay now you take this as an exercise how to find out the area of the arc area of the arc okay where arc length is 2 pi r and this length is l now how to how will you find out this area okay okay thank you next um sir we'll go to the coordinates yes mm. yes edatappa yes sir is it not important sir inna simple va ama sir okay i will stop the share okay and then use the white board and do it அப்படி கட் பண்ணும் போது நமக்கு இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஷேப் கிடைக்கும் சார் ஓகே யா கரெக்ட் இது வந்து L இது வந்து L 2 pi r ஓகே सपोज இதே நம்ம ஒரு சர்க்குலர் கன்சிடர் பண்ணோனா ரேடியஸ் வந்து L சார் ரேடியஸ் L எஸ் கரெக்ட் ரேடியஸ் L நமக்கு தேவையானது இதோட ஏரியா யூ ஆர் எக்ஸ்டெண்டிங் yeah we are interested in this area for that you are yes, using sir. the help of circle okay yes sir namukku yes, okay. indha area da sir okay. okay so area vandu nama x nu pothu x namukku theriyadhu area okay x theriyadhu okay you are right total area total area of in the circle sir with radius l okay okay pi pi l square pi l square okay which will be equal to சர்க்கிள் ஏரியா that pi l square okay total circle area then how you are extending next one equal to uh, in the circumference mm. eduthukrom sir 2 pi r divided by whole circumference okay oh okay 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 2 pi r divided by uh, 2 pi r divided by divided by 2 pi l 2 pi l okay some yes, analogy sir. you are using circumference divided by sorry area divided by area is equal to circumference divided by circumference Yes, that is the concept correct ah huh? area divided by area is equal to that equal and circumference divided by circumference okay yes, sir. then 2 pi 2 pi cancel is equal to pi r r l, r -L. Yeah, yeah yeah this is also very good idea yes 
and uh, anyway you can anyway you can find out the area but uh, this is uh, i think uh, simplest way saras also discussed in one way that is also okay okay well, if you know that mathematics that way also okay this is again another simple way to find out the uh, value pi r l pi r l mathungala puridha sir yes how you find a எப்படி சார் வந்து எப்படி கண்டுபிடிச்சாரு அப்படின்னு புரியுதுங்களா உங்களுக்கு தேவையான பிகாஸ் நவடேஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் ஒர்க்கிங் அவுட் வித் பென் அண்ட் பென்சில் தட்ஸ் வை சம்டைம் ஐம் ஸ்ட்ரகிங் இட்ஸ் ஓகே வித் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஓன்லி ஐம் டீச்சிங் நவடேஸ் ஐம் நாட் ப்ராக்டிசிங் எனி திங் தட்ஸ் மெயின் ப்ராப்ளம் அதர்வைஸ் ஐ வில் ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் மை செல்ஃப் இட் செல்ஃப் ஓகே next uh say now see two dimensional coordinate system okay say this is x axis this is y axis okay this is y axis okay suppose in two dimensional in two dimensional system generally they used to mention like this x comma y generally they used to mention like this x comma y say again if x is 1 y is 1 it's very simple you can put it here you can put it as a point so what is the observation in a two dimensional coordinate system if the two quantities is given two quantities given are mentioned are fixed then it will give you the point okay see what is observation in two dimensional point in two dimensional coordinate system two quantity given are fixed in a two dimensional coordinate system please note down in a two dimensional coordinate system okay if two quantity is given then it will give you the point okay in two dimensional coordinate system if two quantity is given then it will give you the point this can be extended into any coordinate system in case of three dimensional coordinate system if three quantity okay three parameters three quantity are given are fixed then what you will get sir there also you will get same thing point so in any coordinate system in n dimensional coordinate system if n parameter is given or fixed then you will get a point that is the understanding okay na solran puriyada ungalku two dimensional coordinate system la rendu quantity ing kuduttaanga na nammalku enna kedaikum point kedaikum adhu pole three dimensional coordinate system la three quantity ing kuduthalum nammalku kadasi enna kedaikum point kedaikum adhu pole n dimensional coordinate system la n parameter kuduthaanga na nammalku kadasi enna dhaan kedaikum point dhaan kedaikum so what is the final observation so the final observation is final observation is in n dimensional coordinate system in n dimensional coordinate system if n parameter is given n parameter say x y z like that if n parameter n quantity is given then you will get a point you will get a point okay so next i am asking you another question now we are in two dimensional coordinate system okay suppose they are saying like x is equal to 1 what is the meaning sir in two dimensional coordinate system x is equal to 1 means what sir is it a line or point anybody point points lines not point pi on x axis yeah you have to recall your mathematics in two dimensional co- coordinate system i am giving you only one variable one value x dimension only i am giving so x is equal to 1 means what the line parallel to this is x is equal to 1 that means what say this blue color the blue color line is x is equal to 1 that means what so x is 1 y can be anything the meaning of this one is x is 1 y can be anything okay that means what it gives you the line ஓகே மேடம் புரியுதுங்களா எக்ஸ் வந்து கண்டிப்பா ஒன்னா இருக்கணும் ஒய் கேன் பி எனி திங் எனி வேல்யூ பிட்வீன் மைனஸ் இன்பினிட்டி டோ பிளஸ் இன்பினிட்டி இட் மே பி பாசிட்டிவ் ஆர் நெகட்டிவ் எனி வேல்யூ இஸ் பாசிபிள் தட் இஸ் மீனிங் ஆஃப் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ நோ வாட் இஸ் த அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் இன் டூ டைமென்ஷனல் கோஆர்டினேட் சிஸ்டம் இன் எ டூ டைமென்ஷனல் கோஆர்டினேட் சிஸ்டம் இஃப் ஒன் குவான்டிட்டி இஸ் கிவன் ஆர் ஒன் குவான்டிட்டி இஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ்டு ஓகே வி டோன்ட் நோ அபவுட் அதர் குவான்டிட்டிஸ் இட் இஸ் வேரியபிள் it is not fixed that means what we don't know the nature it means it can vary 
in any way it is variable so in two dimensional coordinate system if one quantity is given it gives what sir yes it gives line in two dimensional coordinate system if one quantity is given or fixed it gives line okay purida sir idhu ungalku yes anyone similarly 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 in n dimensional coordinate system in n dimensional coordinate system if n minus quantity is given then adha enna tharo it will give you the line only it will give you line please note down two dimensional la or quantity mattum thanda eppadi line varudho adhu pola n dimensional laiyum or quantity mattum korachikinga n minus 1 quantity kuduthirundanga na kandipa enna dhaan varum line varum suppose in case of three dimensional coordinate system three dimensional coordinate system if two quantity is given what will be your answer finally line what will be your answer finally line the idea puridha sir yes okay now i i will conclude this i will conclude this in two dimensional okay in two dimensional two quantity is given that is point in two dimensional if one quantity is given that is line similarly in three dimensional if three quantity is given that is point in three dimensional coordinate system if two quantity is given that is line that is line okay now i am asking you another question in three dimensional coordinate system if one quantity is given what you will get sir surface. anyone surface plane. because you have to extend your understanding yeah surface or plane from point you are going to line from line you will go to what surface okay plane or surface you will get a plane or surface okay in a three dimensional coordinate system if one quantity is given you will get plane if one quantity is given you will get plane in the situation na sir ungalku maximum varu ena ungalku irukirathu two dimensional coordinate system and three dimensional coordinate system so two dimensional la rendu dimension me kuduthirundha ungalku point one kuduthirundha adu vandha adu line adhuve three dimension la three me kuduthirundha point three dimension la rendu quantity kuduthirundha adu vandha adu line இதுவே 3 டைமென்ஷனல் ஒரு குவாண்டிட்டி கொடுத்தாங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு என்ன கிடைக்கும் பிளேன் ஆர் சர்ஃபேஸ் எனிவே we will prove this okay we will prove this one okay before uh, we'll discuss some basics in 2d coordinate system okay um say this is x y um i am taking two equation one is x minus y is equal to 0 and another one is x minus y is equal to 1 can anybody quickly tell what is the relation between these two equations is there any solution for this equation no. is there any solution yes what about others what is the relation between these two equation is there any solution for this single solution no, any sir. solution or infinite number of solution yeah because it will have no solution so solution iruka illa nu kandupidikala some matrix method idala irukke del idala kandupidichi matrix rank idala kandupidichi porradha la irukke but anyway simple idea enna appdin paathina first this in, the x minus y indicates what sir line the x minus y indicates what sir line okay line okay again x minus y equal to 1 also a line x minus y equal to 0 means what you take any two variable okay but the difference has to be zero but the difference has to be zero okay x x value or y value so what you can take sir x minus y is equal to zero can anybody draw this diagram x minus y is equal to zero hmm? a line passing through origin sir hmm? line passing through origin in which way linear sir okay okay wait 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 okay so i'll draw so this is x minus y is equal to 0 this is x this is a line simple line 
okay next x minus y is equal to 1 that means what sir when x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 1 when x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 1 when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so that means what the x is equal x minus y y is equal to one line will pass in this direct in this way okay correct sir this is the first line and this is the second line okay now what happens in reality these two are parallel lines these two are parallel lines okay parallel lines intersect avadu so ungalku intersect aanada ana varum solution kadaikum so solution in equations la solution kandupidikiringala three variable equations la eduthe solution la kandupidikiringala so anyway in this case nama two variable irukom appo rendu two variable equation kuduthutaanga adukku answer varuma varada solution iruka illaya endradhu edha poruthu irukke and the line odiya nature poruthu irukke if these two lines are exactly perpendicular they will never intersect each other they will never intersect each other then they will they will not have any common point they will not have any common point the solution is just like a common point what is solution sir Solution is something it satisfies the both the equation. Solution is something it satisfies the both equation. Okay, here no 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 solution will satisfy because these two are parallel lines. Okay, no point no point will satisfy because there is no intersection at all. There is no intersection. So so there is no solution for this. Okay, there is no solution for this. That's why in mathematics we used to say these as inconsistent equations. Inconsistent equation because அங்க நம்மளுடைய இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் வந்து என்னது சொல்யூஷன் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறது சொல்யூஷன் வரல அப்படினும் போது என்னது தே ஆர் இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் தே ஆர் இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் बिकॉज ஃபார் தி சொல்யூஷன் யூ ஷட் ஹேவ் சம் வேல்யூ சே x x 1 y 1 தட் இஸ் சட்டிஸ்ஃபைங் திஸ் 1 பட் இட் இஸ் நாட் சட்டிஸ்ஃபைங் திஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் தட்ஸ் சம்திங் இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் बिकॉज தி சொல்யூஷன் ஹேஸ் டு சட்டிஸ்ஃபை போத் தி ஈக்குவேஷன் தட்ஸ் வை தே யூஸ்ட் டு கால் இட் அஸ் எ இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன்ஸ் இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் will not have any solution okay it will not have any solution appo enna sir idea puriyudhu rendu parallel line irundha eppovume intersect avadhu appo adukku common solution e vandanadhu irukadhu common solution e irukadhu then what is the another understanding how you can write the parallel lines how you can write the parallel lines you take some equation keep left hand side fixed don't change anything at the left hand side and you try to change in the right hand side then you will get a parallel lines okay you take any equation you take any equation say 2x plus 3y is equal to k1 okay then again 2x plus 3y is equal to some other number k2 then what is the relation between these two equation they are perpendicular equation they are k1 k2 is not equal some other value some different value okay so then what is the understanding if left hand sides are equal but right hand side is not equal right hand side is not equal then definitely there is no solution definitely there is no solution that is inconsistent equation inconsistent equation yes sir okay in the idea puridha sir rend equation edukrom rend equation oda nature eppadi irukke appo finally we have come to some conclusions how to how to draw the parallel lines if i if i if i know already the equation of some line how to draw some other line parallel to that just to vary the right hand side number just vary the right hand side number not necessarily to be 0 or 1 you can take any any other value minus 1 minus 2 or plus 1 plus 2 still those lines will be parallel say you can you can draw line like this also okay like this also you can draw they are all again still parallel to this one only that means what you can take any different variable at the right hand side okay main understanding ena sir parallel lines eppadi varaiya mudiyum already enakku or line oda equation theriyum na idhukku parallel ah line varaina na what is understanding only i have to change the number that is present at the right hand side that is keep the remaining variable on the left hand side constant okay left hand side constant okay so so, so the final idea is i take uh, i take any a, a, a1x a2x and similar a1x a2x but my right hand side variable is different k1 k2 then these two lines are parallel lines these two lines are what sir parallel line because left hand side is exactly equal the right hand side differ so what is understanding just now we have seen these two are parallel lines these two are parallel lines they will never intersect each other these two are parallel line okay is there any other way to prove these these two is parallel line is there any other way 
anyone what is another properties of parallel lines yes so the another properties of parallel lines are parallel lines will have equal slope parallel lines will have equal slope okay if this is the slope of one line if you draw another line parallel to this still the slope is same still the slope is same parallel lines will have equal slope parallel lines will have equal slope so what is the another way to prove these two are parallel you calculate the slope of the line one and you calculate the slope of line two if both are equal then definitely these two lines are parallel to each other these two lines are parallel to each other okay let me check whether it is true or not from our understanding um wait mm. say just now we have drawn li line like this this is x minus y is equal to 0 and next one is x minus y is equal to 1 what is the slope anybody what is the slope of both the lines yes one sir one slope of both the line is one only so uh, two parallel lines will have equal slope two parallel lines will have equal slope that is another way to identify the parallel lines another way to identify the parallel lines okay now next what happens say i am taking line like this i draw one line like this and another another line like this okay now what is the equation of this line the equation of this line is x minus y is equal to 0 x minus y is equal to 0 if this intersection point i am taking is a 1 this also 1 then what will be this equation anybody x plus y is equal to 1 okay is it correct okay correct x plus y is equal to 1 now you cannot come to any conclusion because left hand side itself varying and right hand side is having some different value okay now uh, whether these two are consistent or not how to calculate whether these two are consistent or not okay the equation solution is anybody yeah. what is the solution yeah. what is the simple idea is if there is no relation in the left hand side and there is no relation on the right hand side you cannot come to any conclusion you cannot come to any conclusion there may be solution there may be solution previous our case path on the case in the candy panna kadi other solution kadi other in the case of the left hand side and different are right hand side of different are so as usual in a bono solve on a try on now now what is the intersection point this is the intersection point the particular value will satisfy both the equation the particular value will satisfy the both equation anybody can tell what is that value what is the value that will say how many values will satisfy this equation x minus y is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 1 only one point will satisfy this that is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 okay because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1 and the difference is 0 no other value will satisfy these two equations only one value so that's why what is the what is the answer sir it has unique solution okay it has unique solution what is that solution 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 okay yeah, you can solve by regular procedure also add the two equation and you will get some value x value and substitute in any one of the equation you will get y value okay you correct sir my answer is anyone is our solution is correct yes sir. Yes, sir. yes our solution is unique our solution is unique that unique value is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 okay next i am going to take another situation okay. yes uh, so uh, first equation x minus y equal to 0 so okay second equation x plus y equal to 1 so okay 0 0.5 0 0.5 obviously so 0.5 just to like intuitive understanding only 0 0.5 0 0.5 add one varadha sir Ah, okay, sir. 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1. What is the difference of 0.5 minus 0.5? That is 0. 0. Okay. Suppose, okay, ah, either okay. case. That is solution. Na, rendu satisfy pannu. Suppose, another case. Na, if, uh, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 add pannu, na, sir. 1 is la. This way, difference 0 ah, okay, or ma. 0.7. So, no, only sir. one value will satisfy. Yeah. 
So only one value is satisfied. That is like with the intuitive understanding I am telling. But the regular procedure is you have to add these two equations. Once if you add 2x equal to 1, you will get. Then x value is 1 by 2. If we substitute x is equal to 1 by 2, you will get y is equal to again 1 by 2. That is regular procedure. That is not the case. Just in theory, it is simple numbers. That is not the case. Okay. Next, I will take another situation. Okay, another situation. Say, uh, my x plus y, x plus y is equal to 1, 1, and 2x plus 2y is equal to 2. Say, there are two equations like this, but if you see very clearly, that second equation is redundant of first one. The second equation is redundant of first one. First, we will draw the equation 1, x plus y is equal to 1. Once if we draw x plus y is equal to 1, you will get line like this only. So in this way, you will get line. Again, these two are redundant. 2x plus 2y equal to 2 is a multiplied version of equation 1 only. Again, second line, you have to Second line, second line. Are you understanding? Second line, you have to say now, what is the solution? How many solutions will be there for this? Anybody? See, my first line and second line overlaps with each other. It's not parallel. They overlap with each other, one on another. Now, how many solutions you will get? Anyone? What is the solution? What is the meaning of solution, sir? Solution is a point, it has to satisfy both the equation. Yeah, you will get infinite solution. You will get infinite solution. Because you can take any point, 